And tonight on Midnight Mechanic, we fix the differential. Because it's being mean. Well, technically not the differential, but the uh, wheel speed sensor. <sighs> That's more like the axle speed sensor because it's just for the rear axle. And um, the part's just up here. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, that guy, right? Oh, focus. Oh, uh, well. You'll see it in a minute. Until then, I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, let's go ahead and open it up and see what caused the damage. Because I pulled out the wheel speed sensor a couple days ago. Because I got tired of my transmission not wanting to shift and stuff. So, I've already loosened these. It uses a 9 16 um, Well, I'm using a wrench. You can use a wrench. You can use whatever you can. All right. Now, this was rebuilt about two years ago or so. And a couple weeks ago, I was coming back from Cali, dragging my 12 foot by eight foot wide dump trailer with solid sides. So it's like basically dragging a parachute behind you. And almost made it. We were going up the pass, just past Barstow, whatever, or not Barstow, Baker, whatever that one's called. I call it number one, if you're coming from Victorville. Number two, if you're coming from down the hill more in Cali. Ugh. Anywho, so I was going up that, and all of a sudden, a couple things happened. One, the cruise control stopped. Two, the truck lit up like a Christmas tree. Brake light, ABS light came on. And three, it started to shift real bad. Speedometer was bouncing around between zero and 60, zero and 45. It was all over the place. So that's when we knew there was a problem. So instead of pulling over and shutting the engine off, like I never do that. I've learned that if you have a problem with your vehicle and it's still driving, you can still handle it. As in it's not crashing all over the road or whatever. Just keep driving. Don't stop. If it's a blown out tire, we'll stop. But if the lights come on and it seems you're running fine-ish, or if it's not running fine and you just got to get somewhere, oh, that one's not loose. Just keep going. Don't stop. So, we're getting there. I think I forgot to loosen that one right there. So, we'll try it again. Oh, man. It's hurt. Man. Oh, okay, let's try it again. Ow. My hand's all weird. Okay, check. Check. All right. So, but anywho, and then I had the truck. We got finally got home, turned it off, went to bed because I was done. After a long day of family stuff, and my we were at the beach, so nice and burnt and tired. But uh, next day I went to get in, and sure enough, it did the same thing. Doesn't want to shift right. The speedometer doesn't work until you get to about 20 or so, or about almost a minute into driving. And then it'll kick up, and sometimes it'll shift so hard on my truck. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the uh, transmission engine computer or what, but it'll shift sometimes, and it wants to kill the engine. Actually, I actually had it one time I was going across the intersection and slow down for a dip and the engine died didn't realize it at first I was like oh it's just having a bad shift and oh, no it's not the engine's RPM is zero so on the fly shift to neutral start it back up don't hit the brake just shift to neutral start it back up back into drive because it'll let you do that and kept on trucking but all of them uh yep Time for the messy part. I think I might put you guys back a little bit so I don't get spilled on. Hold on. Okay, I figured while I was getting up to get the tripod anyways, I'd show you what I'm talking about with the dash. So I'm going to my fat arm. We'll be able to see. These like here. Stay on. This one. You won't worry about that one right now. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Trying to film here. Trying to film here. So basically, the uh, brake light and the ABS light come on because you know what? It can't tell if the back axle is moving or not. 
So the speedometer is only working because it's going up. I believe it's a transmission output sensor, something like that. So figure it out. Okay. Hmm. How do I miss? How many what have? How many want to see me do something stupid? Uh, I'm just kidding. So what I did was I put these top two back in. Here and here. Because when I pop this, the whole thing's going to want to fall down. And now between that and all the oil coming out of there, that's going to smell so good. If you've done diff work, you know the smell that's in there. Hopefully this one's not that bad because it's only had a couple years of wear and tear. So, all right, let's stop jabbing and start working. Hang on. Okay, now I feel better. This is not going to be the right spot. Pardon me. Ouch, wrench. Get that shot of my armpit and shoulder. Come on, a little bit. Yeah. Now, when you're prying on this, don't pry too hard because you want this to still be flat against this when you're done. So, kind of just get it in there a little bit here and there. Just prom night, just ease it in. Did I tell you how much fun it is? So work on your back. Oh, we're already missing. I don't see this going well. You know what? Uh, one second. Watch that not fall off. That's not the piece I want. Come on. Filming here. They don't want to see just nothing going on. Oil mat. I'm not really sure which side's up. I don't think it matters, but I'll put the not shiny side up. Oh crap, dirt. Alright, uh, pardon me. Let me put down my oopsie mat. Okay. Move. Excuse me. Pardon me. Where's my screwdriver? Son of a. There it is. Okay. Let me try this again. Is that look about right? It's good for me. Run. There she blows. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a... It's a little darker than I want to see. Oh. That's not a good sign. Okay, remember, ease it off. Don't get me. Run. <laughs> yeah, stinks. Well, the gears are still there. All right, well, that decides to drip dry. Oh, man. Well, oh, that decides to drip dry. Huh. 
I always take your light and get kind of close so you can see the crap. The color of the oil, if it has any metal in it. And I'm not happy with what I'm seeing in this oil. Where am I lighting? Go? Here, where am I lighting? I'm seeing a hint of brass. <sighs> Great. Alrighty. Uh, come here. Yeah, you, come here. Alright. Hey, where's the magnet? Usually there's a magnet in the cover. Sometimes. People tend to wash it off when they're cleaning it and forget. So look at that. Ooh, look at that nice little color there. That's not good. Oh no, that's not good at all. I'm trying to go easy on the seal. Well, the silicone they put on here. Because after I loosened it, I realized I probably don't have any in the garage. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there's the differential. This whole thing is called the rear end. This is the ring gear. And back in there is the pinion gear. And, uh, yeah, I'm get the camera up in there, show you guys some of the parts. Sorry if the audio changes. The wrong spot. Okay. Now, I just realized I said that backwards. See, this ring gear is supposed to ride on the center of the pinion gear. That's the pinion gear. So, when we have our wear pattern like this, this is too far forward or back. Uh, you know what? I knew I took a test on this before and I really have forgotten. I want to say it's too far back. So yes, let's go a little more forward. Because say this is the other side. The pinion gear is riding here. So it has to go deeper to right in the middle. So pinion gear, that little dude back there looks like a meat cutter. And uh, it's connected to the drive shaft right there. So I've got to get back over oh, not on the right side, or the correct side. I got to get back in there. I can't quite. You can kind of see it. See way back in there. That's the actual wall stop. Who sticky? Speed sensor's there. I gotta see what that discoloration is stuck to it. Because it's supposed to be one whole piece. And you'll see when I get it out, it is not. So I'll show you what is left of the wheel speed sensor that uses this ring right here. It's called a toner ring. And it does is those little nipples sticking out all the way across. It's like a very dull saw blade. This one. As they go by the sensor, it creates a magnetic field little electronic pulse and so the computer sees that the faster they go the more pulses the faster we are going you know all that fun handy dandy uh computer whiz stuff all right let's get the sensor out all right oh uh, it's got well enough okay so anyway right here this nut sits on a, another one down here it's more of a Oh, what the hell's the word for that one? Another nut <laughs> with a stud out of it. So nine sixteenths on this bottom one to hold it in place in case it won't break. And then I'm using a half inch on top. So let's get it loose. Yeah. Now you can see it. Sorry, I don't have light up here. I couldn't make it work. Yeah. There. There we go. 
somewhere safe. Pull off this cover. Oh, wait, it's attached to it. And that. All right, let me get this disconnected. We'll get some light on it and see what the hell. I mean, what, what happened to this thing? <clears throat> Come on. I said disconnect. Oh, the joys. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look at this down here in the light. So I just took this out two days ago and wiped it off. And look at that madness on there. Look at this. Can it focus on it? Get closer to the help? Maybe if I touch the screen. Boop. No? I'll just stay back here. This. This is all metal. That's not good. Not to mention that this is supposed to be longer, you know, about this much longer. So something took out the sensor on my drive. I did find a new one online. I found it on, I think it was Amazon for about 50 bucks, 40 something dollars. So watch me wipe all this metal off of it that I can get to. And when I pulled the sensor out the first time, all it had was the metal rod that sticks to the end of it and they look like I was pulling fishing string out of the differential. So as you can see, it is tore up. Only thing left on it is a magnet. That's why it tracks everything. You see this little piece right here. You can see this little wire. I'm put my hand here. Without the shadow it would help. The little wire, that's what's left of the sensor wire that used to wrap around inside here much times. So as that went by, it created a magnetic field, which created a pulse of energy, which told the computer what's going on. Let me go get the new one to show you in comparison <laughs> how surprised I am of my truck still moving. Okay. So, I got the new one. I got a Mopar. Now, sometimes I'll use aftermarket parts, sometimes I like to use factory parts. When it comes to sensors, I try to prefer using factory parts because they have the right, it's called ohms, resistance to the sensor. Sometimes you might get an aftermarket one, new sensor, but it still reads a little wrong. It's just not the same ohms through it. So, this one, Mopar, you can't see the numbers. This is sensor 56028187. A is an Apple, E is an Edgar, dash zero zero one. Made in the United States. Okay, so, remember this guy? Pop this one out. We'll start this way. Before, after. Before, after. Can't say I don't do it right. I mean, look how much of that sheared off. So, we got to figure out where that's at and that guy up there. I'm sure most of it's in the pan now in little bitty itty pieces. I'm pretty sure there's a chunk in there. So we'll put this one in the file the F away. Keep this in here so I don't like roll on it or something. I didn't throw that one very far, the old one. Because if I need it again, I want to know where it is. Sometimes you have to put the old parts back in if the new parts don't work. All right, let's do this. Who's the fun part? All right. You got my rag ready. Let's see what we find in here. Remember, always make sure it's cool. Oh, there's something there. Always make sure it's cooled down, because if not, it's going to be hot when you rub your hand in here. Oh, you see that? Oh, yeah. Lovely chunks. <laughs> Oh, no bueno, senor. But, I think those chunks are probably the sensor. I'm starting to think that maybe the sensor just decided it wanted it was done, done to its service. So, I'm going to go in here, clean out all the oil I can. Try to get all this metal pieces picked up. Let's move this light a little bit. So you can see in there. 
<sighs> oh, she lovely. There's actually not much on the magnet anymore. I'm gonna go dig in, see if we can see any pieces in there. Um, sorry, my head's in the way now. I'm not seeing anything. It's weird. Maybe a chunk somewhere. One of the gears, is it? Mm -mm. No, no. It's just gone. Okay, well. I'm sure this is not the last time I'll be opening up because if you can't find the problem, it's still there. It's just hiding. Sorry, gotta get a little dark and light. I had oil on my hands still. Now my light's oily. Yay! Smart deal, yo. Oh man, that's the wrong side. Make sure, as a side note, bring more rags than one. Because one rag is not going to take care of the problem. Okay. Oh, oh, this isn't good. This is messy. Yeah. Little, little oily. Oh, I'll be right back. All right, wipe it all down. Let's give it a little spray, spray. And you can see where the natural level of the differential is. <laughs> ah, it burns in the eyes. Safety third. <sighs> No, that wasn't a whole can, don't worry. But it is empty. Okay, two rags down. As if 98 degrees wasn't enough to cool it. We can dry it. Nice. I'll make sure it's all out and dry before you stick that back on and Put your diff fluid in there and it modifies it by ruining it and breaking it down. Don't need that piece, don't need that piece. Yeah, squish the box for the sensor. Okay. Uh. Good there. This is why I put a screen in there. I dropped this. And normally I have to be looking through that if I had this out. Whew. All right. Stick this back on. But before we do that, I like to take the plug out. The plug, looking from the outside, is that guy right there. That's where you fill it. That's where you know it's level or full and it's level with it. Can I hear you, little bastard? It's a rubber one. We all know rubbers are hard to work with. There we go. So, just comes out, just like that. Uh, here's a good spot, not the dirt. So, what I like to do, one at a time, top to bottom. So, the whole point of taking this off was one, to drain the fluid and I feel it because I can tell it was getting stinky. Two was to see if there's anything in the way of that sensor. So, I'm over here. Hey, ha, ah, stay. So, uh, before I put that back together, I decided to stick my finger where the sensor goes, because last time I tried to put it in there, it was something stuck. I think it was half the sensor that was broke off, was just wedged in there. And uh, it's not there anymore. I didn't see it anywhere in there. It could be down one of the axles somewhere, the axle shafts this way. Well, it's not on the way now, so we're going to go ahead and put it back together, fill it back up, and we'll work on that sensor part. Stupid. We're going to flip the truck over and work from the top side. But that ain't gonna work. Come on, go to your home. Do good for your home. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. That should do it. So, 
Okay. Mine. I'm a sucker for Lucas, so I use the Lucas. One quart. So I put two quarts in there, and uh, well, I'm just realizing it chucks a little bit of an angle. It'll be fine. You don't worry about that. So that's on there. It's nice and tight. Oh, these are tightened up. Let's make sure to clean up your mess you've made and play bowling with the empties. So you know if it's leaking or not. Because a differential with no fluid is not a good differential. I think I have some more brake cleaner somewhere. Oh, you're up here. I'll do that later. And now, we'll take a look at that wheel speed sensor spot. Because I think uh, it's time to get rid of this guy. Yeah, dang. And put this guy in. Let me give you a better look. All right. Where did I put your sensor? So last time I put this in, put it in here, and it went to there, and that was as far as it moved. And that was as far as it would go. So let's just wait a minute. It's, it went flush earlier. What the is the hell? Oh, we still have a problem here. So I put it in a minute ago. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yes, I did make sure it went all the way in this time. Because, uh, you, you trust me to do it right, right? Okay, and then we figure out where we put the other bolts at. I'm sure this goes on here somewhere. Let's clean. Yeah, that's good enough. This way? Yeah. Oh, there's a little clip for it, too. Cool. Yeah. That's your home. You like your home. Okay, this is... What am I missing here? This goes like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. No, no, we're cool. Totally know what I'm doing here. This guy. <laughs> now this guy. This guy goes here. Go to your home. You get off of there. Okay, where's that 9 sixteenths? Yeah. Uh, and there's probably a torque spec, but uh, I go by German specs. It's called Gutentite. So I'll go with that one. Let's do this before I forget. And I'm like, whoa, it doesn't work. Or if I need to move this over. Oh, too far. Too far. Go back to your own shit. I mean, darn it. Okay. <coughs> it's like a video game. The old Nintendo's just got blown on it a little bit. Uh, no, that's not going to work. This will go in here. That's not going to work either. Oh, there's dirt in my eyes. <sighs> Here it is. <clears throat> the half inch socket. Same size as the differential bolts. Go to your home. Do -do 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 Okay, now we're good. Okay, so sensors reinstalled, connected. 
You know, good seated flush. Time for a test drive. Okay, let's see what happens. Of course, you gotta drive it to make sure it works because it's not sure what's going on. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's still. Yeah, I do have the brake on, so. Well, let's go for a test drive. There we go. Well, let me get the brake off. Hang on. No more light. Brake on. Oh, this? We'll deal with that one later. I think I know what it is. So, job done there. Still trucking 239,000 miles. Catch you on the flip side.